The 2010 21st Century Automotive Challenge began here at the LTI test track just off of Penn State's main campus. The event coordinator was Dr. Joel Anstrom. This year's event had seven electric vehicle conversions, two production EVs, two hybrid electrics, and two biodiesels. Each of the nine electric vehicle teams had to provide its own meter base to support the kilowatt hour meter provided by Penn State. This meter will be used to measure the energy efficiency of the vehicles. This is a close-up of the electric meter issued to each team. It displays voltage, amperage, watts, and total kilowatt hours. This is the charging wagon being wired to support each of the electric vehicles in the competition. There goes Ken Barber taking the local news for a drive in his Mini Cooper Electric. This is Don Ocker's Tesla Roadster charging after it drove about 100 miles to get here. Each vehicle was subjected to a thorough safety inspection by Dr. Joel Anstrom. So we're not using both motors. He can actually pick up speed through the controllers too, but he also has this as like a backup. The vehicle's weight distribution and total weight was taken by rolling each wheel onto a scale. Here you can see how difficult it is to get an electric vehicle onto these scales. Around lunchtime, we took a tour of the Morning Star Solar Home located right next to Penn State's football stadium. The house is a student project that makes use of the latest in solar and sustainable technologies. Thank you. 
And these books, by the way, there's a stack of them over there. This tells the whole story of the design of the house, and you're welcome to take At the end of day one, back at the test track, an autocross competition was held. The course was set up, refereed, and moderated by a group of professional drivers. Like the beetle ends up with a 66 226. All right, well, I just showed up. So I'm assuming this is some kind of cold draw. Tom, last one is run number four. He has to beat a number six, eight, five, four, six. Okay. And looking by the smooth play of the vehicle, that would be Chris Moore. If he goes off course, he's not going to do anything. Hmm.